بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is Ms. Layla Jehani Welcome dear students In an, another lesson Today inshallah we will continue our unit Who used my toothpaste Today inshallah we will cover two lessons We will cover the reading and project Lesson 9 and 10 Before we start let's recall What we covered in our previous lesson In our previous lesson we had about you And we had questions ask and answer questions related to household chores we asked and learned uh, information about each other also we had for the conversation answer questions based on a given conversation we have a conversation and we answer questions based on it and we use the new vocabulary in a new conversation also we use the real talk phrases in a new conversation this is what we covered in our previous lesson okay Inshallah today by the end of the lesson you will be able to um, read the uh, complaints. This is the title of our reading. Scan the reading for details. Answer questions related to the text. Interview college students to find what they miss about home. This part is related to the project. Okay, this is what we, we will do inshallah in our lesson. Okay, so before we start, I want you to open your books, page 44 and 45. Look at the bottom of the page. You can see a, a man, he's using his phone, okay? And do you think the man is happy? He's okay? No, he is very angry, صح? So what is the person doing in the picture? He is, what do you think he is doing? And we can hear... Press 1, 4, press 2, 4, press 3, 4. Where do we hear this? When you are calling company, صح? Like for example, if you uh, want to complain about your phone or your internet, you can call the company that provides the service. You can call them and they say press 1 for Arabic or press 2 for, uh, for example, the, for your complaints. So do you think he is... Happy with the service? No, he isn't, صح? So why is he doing it? To make, excellent, to make a complaint for the problem. He has a problem, he has an issue, and he wants to report the problem, complain uh, to the company, okay? Before reading, we have these questions. Think of three things that other people do that irritate you you the most what do they mean about irritate you the most like the man in the bottom of the page he is angry he is irritated okay what does make you angry tell me about things people do that makes you uncomfortable very angry so think of the three things that other people do that irritate you the most can you think can you share uh, the list with your partner can we talk to each other can you tell each other what are the things that irritate you okay throwing the trash around this something irritate you excellent what are the things that makes you angry sneezing without covering okay this is one uh, thing that bother you what else using your things without asking this is another thing that would bother you what else laughing very loud or speaking very loud makes you irritated so each one of us has his or her own personality so it's the the, the answers should vary it's different okay now we have on our book like um, um, a picture of a place when you have something here and you have this here where do we usually see something similar to this and you have the reading the list in the middle صح? طب, where do you see when you look at the picture where do you see this simi something similar to that do we see it in a newspaper no where do we see it excellent when we are using the website when we are opening a website so this is a website okay so the title here in the beginning complaints here this is the page where they show 
complaints, okay? What can't you stand? What drives you crazy? What really gets under your skin? So here, all these three phrases, they are related to, um, they mean the same. What makes you angry or makes you uncomfortable? Do you have a, co a complaint? Let, let it out here. Um, your, uh, here's your forum. Add your complaint to the list. So you have to write your complaints here and then press add so they can add it to the list of complaints. We can see it in our books this side. Okay, so here forum. Uh, what does forum mean? What do you think? Here, all of this, this is the fo uh, forum. It's a list of complaints. We call it a forum, okay? So what's a forum? A place where people can express their opinion. You can tell other people about your opinion. And we can see here in our books, this side, we can see a list of complaints, okay? Before uh, we read, I want you to look at this question, exercise A. Match the two word verbs. Do you remember the two word verbs? Yes. Match it with their meaning. Okay. We have a list of two words, verbs. Let out, find out, clean up, give back, call up, give up. And we have a list of meanings. Learn, let someone have, phone, express yourself freely, make things neat, return. So try to match it after we read the list together, after the reading, okay? And also here, exercise B, write three expressions that mean to irritate. We said irritate, what does it mean? Can you think from the reading, write three more expressions that mean to irritate? Uh, also exercise C, answer true or false about the complaints in the forum. In general, people disapprove of the following. So here we have a list, write true or false not based on you, it should be based on the reading. So we have three parts, A, B, and C. Okay, you have to answer it based on the reading. People talking on cell phones in public places. People on a diet. People who don't wait their turn. People who do the dishes right after a meal. People using an escalator instead of the stairs. So this is a list of the thing you have to write true or false based on the reading. Okay? Now let's read together. Okay? Standing in line at checkout counters at the supermarket. Listening to people talking on their cell phones in restaurants. It's annoying. When people talk on their cell phones and drive. People who use words like cool and stuff all the time. Also, people who use the word like all the time in conversation. The word takes the place of adjectives, nouns, and intelligence. Okay, this is the first part of the list. Um, what does the person mean by the word takes, take the place of an intelligence here? The word takes the place of intelligence. Here, they say people who use words like cool and stuff all the time. Uh, they said this word takes the place of intelligence. What do, do, what do you think the person who, write, who wrote this part mean? The writer is being sarcastic. That's, he, he's saying that uh, I don't think he's intelligent. The person who used these words, he doesn't think it's intelligence. He be, he's being sar sarcastic. He or she is implying that people who use like a lot sound stupid 
okay? This is what they mean when they use the word take the place of intelligence. They mean the opposite, which is stupid, okay? Rushing to the phone and finding out it's a telemarketer who's calling. People who lost weight and now try to control what others eat. People who are always late and people who are late and don't apologize. Okay. What is a telemarket here? Rushing to the phone and finding out it's a telemarket who's calling. Telemarketer. What does the word telemarketer mean? When you your phone rings or your mobile rings and you are rushing, maybe you're uh, fixing your hair or you're cooking and you hear the phone, when you run, when you run to the uh, phone, you pick it up, it's a telemarketer. Marketer, what do you think this word means? He is like a sales person who sell things. Someone who calls people to sell things. They tell you, what do you think about, um, for example, buying this product, it's a very good product, and you don't have time to this. So this is one of the things they mentioned here. Let's he uh, see the other list and hear it together. When salespeople try to talk you into buying something you don't want or need. People who don't say please and thank you. When people enter a door or an elevator and don't hold it open for the person who is right behind them. I can't stand people who chew with their mouths open. Here we have another list of things. So uh, the question is here, when, uh, when you hold the door open, when you hold the door open for people in the elevator, um, here they mentioned that they hate when the people don't do it. What is the polite thing to do when a person enters a door and there is someone else behind him or her? You hold it open for them. You don't close the door when you leave. Let's see the other list here. It drives me insane when I call up a company and I get press one for A, two for B, three for C, and so on. Or the common assurance your call will be answered in the order it was received, and then you have to wait forever while they put you on hold. When people don't give up their subway or bus seats to seniors or to those with disabilities. Okay, here another list of the things they uh, that annoy you. Put you on hold. When someone put you on hold, what do you make them do? Wait on the phone for someone to answer. When you put them in hold, uh, just wait for someone else to answer. This is the meaning of it. Let's see the other list. People who stand in the way of others who want to use an escalator or doorway. People who change the TV channel without asking when someone else is clearly watching. People who stand in someone else's line of sight in front of the TV during the last 30 seconds of any show or game. So if someone is standing in your line of sight, line of sight, when you're looking at something and someone is standing in front of you, what can you do? See what you are trying to look. So when someone's standing and you have something, you're watching something, and someone's standing in front, you can see what's behind this person, okay? This is what does this word mean. Okay, let's see the other list. People who stand in someone else's line of sight in front of the TV during the last 30 seconds of any show or game. People who borrow stuff without asking and don't give it back. When someone constantly interrupts you while you're speaking. When people leave a pile of dirty dishes in the kitchen for others to clean up. Okay, a pile, the word pile. When there is a pile of something, are there only a few things or a lot of things like pile of laundry, pile of laundry. It's a lot, a lot of things together when they say a pile of dirty dishes. Okay, now let's try to answer these questions together. Okay, match the two word verbs and their meaning. Okay, when you let out. 
let out. What does it mean? What does it mean? When you find out, find out something, you what? Choose it, right? The letters here. Clean up something means what? Excellent. Think about it. Give back. Call up. Give up. Let's see the answers. Pause the video, think about it. Now let's see the answers together. So for number one, let out means express yourself freely. You let it out. You express yourself freely. Find out means learn. Clean up means make things neat. Give back means return. Call up means phone when you call up someone give up means express uh, sorry it's not d it's b b someone uh, let someone have okay uh, after the reading we have to write three expressions that mean to irritate okay can you think of it if you haven't done already let's see the answers drive you crazy means to irritate Get under your skin means to irritate or annoy. All these three phrases mean to irritate. Okay, now moving on to exercise C. Answer true or false about the complaints in the forum. In general, people disapprove of the following. People talking on cell phones in public places. Did anyone write something in the forum related to this? If it, if you saw this complaint right, true. If you didn't see this complaint right, false. People on a diet. Did anyone mention something uh, about people on a diet? Okay, think about it, read it, pause the video, read the forum again, and let's see the answers together. So for the first phrase, it's true. People ta talking on cell phones in public places. Someone wrote about it and it's true. People on a diet, it's false. We didn't read anything about that. Uh, people who don't wait their turn, it's mentioned there, so it's true. People who do the dishes right after the meal, false. People using an escalator instead of the stairs, false. Okay, this is the answer for exercise C. So if we finished uh, one, two, and three, we have the discussion which of the things listed in the reading do you think show bad manners we read a list of the things makes people very angry and irritated صح? what do you think from the reading what are the things you can say it's very bad manner like what when you don't say thank you and please it can't be considered Bad manner, you just take the things and leave. No, you have to say thank you, صح? What else? Holding the door instead of if, when you are in the escal escalator or in the elevator and you pushed ground floor and you want to go down. If you see someone r running or they, they are uh, signal, um, they waving for you to hold the door, you should hold the door for them to join instead of closing the door uh, on them so they listed many things that people can consider annoying to talk to each other about this list um, do you agree with the reading or you th you have another uh, opinion you think maybe I miss it's okay I'm in a hurry I can close the elevator and leave okay uh, compare and discuss your complaints with your classmates what is the most common complaint in your class so when you think you agree to some points. What is the most common complaints you all agree on? Talk to each other about it. And now moving on to the project. Interview one or two young people who have left home to attend college. Okay, so you have to make an interview interviewing someone who left his house to go to college. Find out what they miss most about home. Present your findings to the class. So this is the project. How can we start? 
The first thing you have to think of uh, people you know who have left home to go to college. You have to think about these people. You will make an interview. The first thing you have to know a person you can interview. صح? طيب, we know, like for example, you can say uh, Ahmed, my cousin, or um, Muna, she, my uh, aunt. She, she left home for college. So think about the people and write their names so you can interview them. Then work in pairs. You will not work alone. You have to work with a partner after you choose the uh, people. Brainstorm questions to ask. Now, with your partner, you have to think about questions you can ask uh, the, these people. Think about the questions, write it, write it down, okay? Use the question to interview the people. Then, then when you make the list, go to this person and interview them and write down their answers. Present your findings either to the whole class or in your group. Then after that, um, in next lesson, share what did you find. Like for example, you can say, my aunt Mona, she miss the thing she misses the most is her mother's cooking. This is one of the things she misses. She misses her sisters. Uh, Ahmed, for example, my cousin, he, uh, the thing he misses the most is his room, his friends and his parents, okay? So report your findings to your class, okay? Here, this is a sample interview. I wrote it down. You can do something similar or uh, other questions you can ask anyone. For example, let's say that Lena is one of your, uh, is in your class. When did you leave to study at the university? Uh, Shahad would say, I left two weeks before the beginning of the semester. Lena, how is life away from your family? This is another question, okay? At first, it was very difficult. Now things are getting easier. Lena, can you do everything on your own or you, or, um, you ask someone for help? Shahad would say, my mom spent a lot of time and effort teaching me cooking, washing, uh, washing clothes and ironing. Lena, do you talk to your family a lot? Uh, absolutely, my mom calls every day. This is what Shahad said. Lena, do you plan to visit them in the near future? Shahad, yeah, hopefully soon. So this is an interview. I wrote down a list of questions and I asked someone who left uh, home um, and asked. they told me uh, what did they miss about their houses. Hopefully this makes everything easier for all of you. For your homework, you have to do the project, ask questions, and also you have to do page 115, okay? Um, let's see what we covered in our uh, lesson. Today we read about complaints. We scanned the reading for details, answer questions related to the text. Interview college students to find what they miss about home. This is what we covered in our lesson today. For the fun fact, so here we have a picture of tongue. The strongest muscle in the body is our tongue. So our tongues are the strongest muscle because we talk a lot, we exercise a lot. This is something uh, I wanted to share with all of you. Thank you for listening. Uh, that's it for today and inshallah I will see you next class.